This is Physics, Chapter 1, Physical Quantities and Measurements. Lesson 11, Ticker Tape, an example of periodic motion. In Lesson 10, when we look at periodic motion, we have learned three new concepts. Okay, what an oscillation is, the period of an oscillation, and also the frequency. And if you re recall, when we discuss about these three concepts, we, uh, we were looking at the pendulum itself. However, take note that the pendulum is not just an example of a periodic motion. There are many other possibilities out there. Okay, and the ticker tape is simply one of the examples that we are going to discuss. Right, so let's find out what is a ticker tape timer. Okay, a ticker tape timer is simply a machine that places dots on a paper tape. Okay, the machine is over here as, the, uh, as shown in the diagram and it places dots on this piece of paper which is attached to a trolley. Okay, and once the trolley is allowed to move down the slope, a series of dots will naturally appear on the tape as it is being pulled through the vibrating pin. Okay, so how is this an example of a repeated motion? Well, I'd like you to take note, the repeated motion or the periodic motion does not re refer to the trolley moving from the top of the slope to the bottom. And after that, we repeat again this same experiment. Rather, the repeated motion or periodic motion comes in the form of the vibrating pin. Take note that uh, the vibrating pin operates at a frequency of 50 Hz. This simply means that the pin will actually move up and down. And this one up and down motion can be considered to be one full oscillation of the pin. So if the timer itself operates at a frequency of 50 Hz, this simply means that the pin itself will make 50 complete oscillations in one second. And therefore, that will also mean that we will see 50 dots in one second. Now, let's have a look at the next slide here. If we have three different tapes and each of these tapes, we have attached it to the trolley and allow the trolley to move down the ramp. Once it starts to move down the ramp, the vibrating pin will make all this series of dots on the ticker tape. So we can now study motion from this pattern itself. If you look at the first tape X, and we find that the interval between the dots are almost equal or equal. This therefore tells us that the trolley is moving at constant speed. For Y itself, if the dots are seen to make such a pattern with increasing distance between them, then we can conclude that the speed of the trolley is actually increasing. For Z itself, if you see that the distance between the dots is actually decreasing, this tells us that the speed of the trolley is actually decreasing. But what is interesting to note is that for every single dot that you see on all the three tapes X, Y, and Z, the time taken for one dot to appear is the same, whether the distance is so much or so short, or even this long. Always remember the pin in the previous slide, the pin itself goes up and come down. And if it's operating at a frequency of 50 Hz, it simply means that for every dot to appear, it takes a time of 0 0.02 seconds. Okay, And we obtain this by simply taking 1 dividing by the frequency of the timer. This slide shows a common uh, problem that is often uh, faced by students. Okay, So over here, we see that you are given a ticker tape with a certain pattern of dots and some additional information is given. Right? This information says that there are 10 intervals or there are 10 spaces that can be found from this red line to the one on the right hand side. And the distance between these two red lines is actually found to be 12 centimeters. Right, so how do we then solve the first problem? The first problem is simply, uh, is simply this, the time taken by object over in 10 intervals or 10 spaces. So how do we find this time? Well, always recall that the time taken for one dot to be made is 0 0.02 seconds. Okay, if the ticker tape timer is operating at 50 hertz. And therefore, since there are 10 spaces, we simply take 10 and multiply that by 0 0.02 seconds and that will give us a time of 0 0.20 seconds. Other common questions will be something like this. You'll be asked to find the average speed of this moving object. Well, average speed, as you know, we can calculate 
by using this simple equation of speed equals to the distance traveled divided by time taken. And um, the distance traveled between these 10 spaces would be 12 centimeters. And we divide that by the time taken for, for the thicker tape to make these 10 spaces. All right. And that will be 0 0.20 seconds. By using a calculator, we will find that this uh, tape is being moved at a speed of 60 centimeters per second. All right. So that brings us to basically the last slide of this uh, uh, video. So let us uh, do a quick recap. Now the thicker tape itself is actually a tape that is attached to a moving trolley and is a pass, this tape is passed through a thicker tape timer which operates at a frequency of 50 Hz. So what it means is simply that the time taken for each dot to appear regardless of how far the dots are is 0 0.02 seconds. Okay. So with this we have come to the end of chapter 1. Now, before I end the video, I'd like to take the opportunity to go through the key concepts we have covered in Chapter 1. Recap that, we have covered this thing called the physical quantities, and these are none other than quantities that can be measured, and it is made up of a magnitude and units. We have also talked about SI units. We have covered these seven base physical quantities and their respective SI units as well. I would like to also urge you to remember the base because physical quantities and their respective SI units and symbol. We have also measured length with the meter rule and measuring tape. We have looked at the vernier caliper, micrometer and have dealt with zero errors for both of them. We have also talked about oscillation, period and frequency. These three concepts are related to motion that repeats itself or periodic motion. And this is so important for you to recall the equation f equals to 1 over capital T. This small f refers to frequency and capital T is the period. The unit for frequency is none other than the hertz and the unit for period is the seconds. Right? And one example of a periodic motion is the pendulum. Another example is the thicker tape itself. So with that, we have completed chapter 1 and thank you so much.